Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Thanksgiving. Here I am in my Thanksgiving kitchen. Can you see behind me? Look at that. I actually am doing a vlog when there's a mess in my kitchen. Cheers to you. And many of you ask, is my cup as big as my face? That's pretty much the case. So, that's the way it works. I haven't even finished my coffee yet. Hold on. It wouldn't be a Kelly Alexa vlog if I didn't go. This advertising space is for rent. Just kidding. I actually had someone approach me and ask what, what it would cost to advertise on my cups. I'm like, I hope you're talking about these cups. I have not been in the sauce yet at all. I was thinking of, you know, my bra cups, get it? You could advertise right here. Kind of showing advertising for Nike, contextually. Um, anyway. I have Christmas music playing in the background. Can you get over it? If you don't like Christmas, I start Christmas actually after Halloween. I start listening to Christmas music after Halloween. You guys, seriously, for those of you that are like, I can't take it that early, let me tell you something. First of all, I know I say this every time I put these tops on, this is like my biggest pet peeve area with these tops. It just bothers me. Like I want these to go up. Ow, and that hurt my shoulder. Here's the thing guys about my shoulder. Um, I'm no longer on the pain medication naproxen, and I didn't like going on that anyway because it's not like I was walking around going, wow, this feels great. You know, part of me was thinking, am I gonna be like all these Hollywood celebrities that get, gets addicted to pain medication? But it's not like it, I felt anything, but I will tell you this, and I told her that, after being off of it for one day, it's not like throughout the day I noticed things, wait a second, I'm gonna make an ass out of myself. Throughout the day, I did notice more than when I was on it. Just little things like I'd catch my arm and go, ow, ow, where when I was on it, I wasn't, I found myself telling the physical therapist, I'm not finding myself doing So sadly, the good thing about the pain medicine, maybe it's not good. I, I don't like the idea of, the, of being, feeling better because of that. The only thing that I really use that I will never break up with at this moment in my life is Excedrin PM. Don't even try to take that away from me. The first thing that got me upset <laughs> about taking naproxen, and she goes, you can't take any other medi medication, and I'm like, et cetera, PM, and she goes, no, and I'm like, what am I gonna take to sleep at night? Guys, I'm sorry. Et cetera, PM is something that I'm dating for a while. I've asked the doctors about it. They say that it's fine. It's not addictive. There have been periods where um, I really didn't start to have to use it all the time to fall asleep until I was going through a divorce. And that's when I was, I had to move out of my house. It was a really horrible, horrible, many of you don't know that story. I'm talking about like, it should be a lifetime miniseries kind of a thing. Um, I had to move out of my house when he was gone, you know, pack everything up, put it in storage. And I was for the better part of six, seven months during my divorce, um, living with family and I couldn't sleep. I just, from that point on, I have never had a good night's sleep. Um, and then for various reasons, we all know lately why I don't get a good night's sleep. And then it just so happens that when I travel a lot, I also happen to have people that are, I don't know, having 17 people in their hotel room next to me and I have to call security. It's like, I think that what's, what God has in store for me is that maybe in 2012, this is gonna be the year of sleep. I really do believe it. So back up to the pain. Oh, and I've got to be careful. I've got to check my stuff on the stove. So I can't give you a, a long ramble-on-a-thon, and I know you're like, rats! I was really hoping to sit around for 15 minutes and listen to Kelly like, wah, wah, wah. So anyway, the pain in my shoulder is still here. I, I have to say I'm a little, it was kind of nice last, I've only been for one week. Why am I whining and complaining? I was only in physical therapy for one week. I, I go back, I went on Monday or Tuesday. I don't even know what today is. Today's Thursday. So I go back tomorrow and then probably four times next week. It's definitely still there, you guys. I mean, I'm, I've noticed it a couple times this morning. It's better. She tells me that my range of motion has gotten better, but it's still there. So um, I'm listening to everything she says to do. I'm doing my stretches. And then these are the new ones that I have to do because she says my middle back needs um, strengthening. And then she also said, she's like, Kelly, when you go back, when we work you back up to doing weights, you've got to, everything has to be balanced. Like I told you guys what I've learned about this, which is really interesting, is that when I first injured this in January, then I had to stop. You guys knew, like I, I didn't do upper body for like two and a half months, maybe even three. Then when I went back at it and I was still sporadic with my workouts because of travel, 
when I would go to do upper body, I kept doing, like, remember, this is what I'm, I'm realizing. I would work out two or three times. I'd be on a business trip, and, and I'd only get two or three workouts in. If I did upper body, I always did shoulders. I always, I, I think I would use TRX for my back, but clearly I was always focusing on shoulders because I feel like I have hooters, and I'm trying to make my shoulders bigger. I love the looks. I, I just love how wonderful delts look. I've always looked this. So, so even if I didn't have the boob issue <laughs> to balance out, um, I've always wanted to work on my delts. It's just something that I did. So this past year, when I've had such inconsistent con training, when I would go to do weights, I always did, um, this, I wasn't doing chest, I wasn't doing back as much. Um, I was doing biceps and triceps a little bit, but it's clearly like, and then what she said is you're over accommodating. So I was working these and my other muscles were weaker so then I was over accommodating. That's why these poor babies back here. Terrace major and minor, you poor thing. I love you. Anyway, let me show you something that I'm working on. This is a virtual fat fest in my kitchen, but the reason that I came here and that I've delayed talking about this for six minutes is so, I'll get to that in a minute. This, carb heaven. Paula Dean would be in here just going, Tell you, Lex, I just love you. I can do a better southern accent than that. You don't even want to get me when I start talking Pensacola. See how you, you can't even say Pensacola. You go to say Pensacola. Um, anyway, I am making two side dishes to bring over to my parents' house. One of these, and both of these are from my ex-sister-in-law, who I am still BFS with. <laughs> I called my ex-mother-in-law and I said, She's having a bunch of people over to her house and I was touching base with her on some of these recipes and I said, Happy Thanksgiving, tell everybody in your family that I still love Happy Thanksgiving. She knows what I mean. I'm like, if you want to put some drugs in a certain person's um, bourbon, that's fine. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Anyway, so I'm making this broccoli casserole, which is my ex-sister-in-law's version, which is, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, for the first time in my life I bought Cheese Whiz and I don't care. I love Cheese Whiz, I've just never bought it. <laughs> so I was in the grocery yesterday, I'm like, Sir, kind sir, can you tell me where the cheese whiz is? And he's like, it's over here. Things that can be shelved on the counter for 700 years without spoiling. And like, that's what I need. <laughs> so, Danielle, I'm sure you're gonna appreciate that. And then I'm also making this hash brown recipe. These are totally like a non-traditional, uh, well, the hash brown recipe is not a non-traditional um, Thanksgiving thing, but I thought, let's do it. It has hash browns, cream with chicken soup, cheddar cheese, that's what this is, sour cream, butter, and then you bake it. <laughs> I love these recipes that have like four things in them, four or five. Anyway, the reason that I came in here to vlog, to take my time to share with you, is number one, I've been a sucky vlogger this week. Please forgive me. We had a lot to do Fit Fluential this week. As you can see, I did get some tanning in. I have my priorities. I also got my nail fixed, which was very much an upsetting thing yesterday when this nail broke off, pissed me off. Now, here I am in the kitchen, slept in late because I was up late. It's 11-11. Make a wish. I might have just wished a naughty thing. Okay, anyway, um, here's the deal. I'm so worried that that's gonna boil over. Um, I'm here and I'm making all this stuff and I got up late this morning. It's a bird. I got up late this morning and um, I'm, I'm putting these things together and part of me, you know, when you go to someone else's house and you're making food, you're like, when do I put it in the oven? How long can it sit, blah, blah, blah. So I'm kind of like, you know, fussing around this morning. It's different than just putting something in that you know takes an hour. You can't just go, make it at 12, it's ready at one. You gotta go, okay, I gotta get ready. I've gotta get a shower at this time. I've gotta drive over there, blah, 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 blah. I know. Anyway, what I'm telling you is I'm in my workout clothes. In the past, if I wasn't in this fitting it in no matter what mindset, um, and I've done, this is my third week on establishing habits. I would look at a morning like this and go, there's no way I'm gonna be in here, you know, cooking, I've gotta get ready, whatever. If Carla was here, do you know what Carla would do? She would say, put your workout clothes on, squeeze in some moves in between. You don't have, maybe you're not gonna have 25 to 35 solid minutes of a workout. Get in five here, get in five here, and then maybe for the next two or three hours, you're getting in a sweat fest, but you won't be pouring with sweat but you'll still be getting your workout in. So I can go run up and down the stairs, I can do jumping jacks, I can do wall sits, I can do walking lunges, and you know I'm gonna do it. So I need to get over this mindset that I have to stop doing everything, only do my workout. Of course that's ideal, people, but I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something today while I'm cooking. That's why I ran in here, got my workout clothes on, because I am. We are gonna show that we can fit fitness in no matter what. Stop making excuses, start now. You're gonna see a big theme like this coming up, Influential in December, pretty exciting. It's gonna get all you guys ready, so you're not gonna say, I'm gonna go into December, just gain a bunch of weight. Don't put up with that. 
It's very strange what I'm seeing behind me, like. Oh, it's that. I was doing that and I saw what that looks like right there. I thought that was my arm. I'm so paranoid. Anyway, I have to go get ready. I just wanted to tell you guys that this is my attitude this morning. I can't do a lot of flexes, guys, because I haven't, as you know, been working the upper body. Um, yeah, it's still, I'm so impatient, but I'm, I'm willing to do what she says because I don't want to be dealing with this by next summer. Okay. So I want you guys to have a happy Thanksgiving. Make sure you get your workout in. I don't care if it's 15 minutes. Do something. Do a plank hold. Do some um, jumping jacks. Don't make me challenge you. Don't make me show you that you can fit this in. I got my eyebrows done yesterday. I feel much better. And I feel much better than I'm a little tan, too. Also, the girl that was doing my eyebrows, <laughs> she started looking at me. You know that it's like these people have no filter, and I love her. She's sweet, but she's doing my eyebrows, and she's like, do you? She's like Asian, so she has this cute little accent. She's like, uh, do you put perfume on your neck? And I'm like, yes. She goes, you have wrinkles on your neck. Don't put perfume there anymore. I'm like, oh, oh okay. You know, so you're like completely, and I know, people, this is when you start to get old like me, you start to notice things. Of course, I'm noticing that it's probably time for Botox pretty soon, but yeah, I have wrinkles on my neck. Like when I go tanning, there's like one that's right there, and there's really dorky exercises they tell you you should do when you get old, like this. Like that's supposed to like tighten up your skin. I say just, I'm just going to walk around like this. This is gonna be my new face. I gotta go, you guys. Happy Thanksgiving.